Another historic milestone for the new Bay Bridge. Work nears completion on the Oakland touchdown. This is the final major concrete pour on the Bay Bridge project. It's a keystone operation being done almost a year ahead of time. It's critical to the bridge opening both lanes of traffic on opening day, Labor Day weekend. Here's why. Because the existing bridge blocked eastbound lanes on the new Bay Bridge, officials had planned to open the bridge in 2013 to westbound traffic only. After the opening, it would have taken up to half a year to tear down the old approach and build a new one. Eureka! Ingenious engineers found a way to leapfrog the process. Over a two-year period in 2011 and 2012, they one by one moved the existing approach lanes to the south, moving traffic out of the way so they could complete the new west and eastbound Oakland touchdowns. 136 concrete trucks are supplying 1,220 cubic yards of concrete, enough to cover more than three football fields in this nine-hour conquest. History in the making. With five months to go, the scaffolding is coming off the world's tallest self-anchored suspension tower. The suspension cable is being painted white to match the nearby Oakland port. And the false work that held up the bridge until weight was shifted to that 10 million pound suspension cable is no longer needed. And the false work is being dismantled. It's the flurry of final months as the new Bay Bridge hurdles to opening Labor Day weekend.